What the analytics data lets you have is access to analytics in one place of all your social media activity. So while you can get analytics from Twitter, for example, from Instagram, what this lets you do is do all your analysis in one place. So as soon as you add a social profile and you have a paid for account, analytics data begins collecting. Hootsuite includes a standard individual reports for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and a mixed overview report for all four of them. The good thing is you can schedule reports to be mailed to you as PDF. So for example, we get all our social media reports mailed to us from Hootsuite every week. You can also export them as CSV files or spreadsheets and as PDFs. You can create as many overview reports as you like and you can build custom reports. So here's an example of all the reports you can have. So for example, on Facebook, you can have a report on your posts, your fans, your engagement, your traffic, fans by page. So there are huge numbers of things you can report on. So if you're a person who has objectives, for example, on your social media activity, if you're trying to grow your activity, you're trying to grow engagement, these reports are a really good way of tracking that you're meeting your objectives or looking at, well, what do I need to do to change that? The other things that are really useful here as Rasheen mentioned, you might want to look at which of your posts are doing the best and then duplicate those using the duplicate functionality. So having a report that shows you how each post is performing helps you to then use Hootsuite to duplicate your posts and reuse posts. So to get to analytics, you'll see a graph appears in your menu bar. Just click on your graph and you'll be taken to the analytics page. So you can see here, this is what a standard analytics page. You can click on the social media type, as I said, there are four different types of reports available for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. If you click on it, it shows you what reports you've got available to look at. So if you click on post performance, it shows you how your posts are performing in that time frame. So here it's September. Click on the social media account you wish to report on. And you click on the down arrow and you can select a date range. So you can see here I'm looking at the year from September 18 to September 19. If you want to export the report, just click on the down arrow and we'll have an option as a PDF or a CSV. Now to create your own report, just click on this plus. If you already have a reports list, it will show you the plus like this. So if you haven't created any reports, it says no reports created, you click there. If you've got reports, click on the plus. And then you'll be taken to create a report. You can see here, you've got your four different things and you can also create a custom report and it'll just take you through a step-by-step. -step. So here, if I want to create a Facebook over report, I just click on the green create report button underneath Facebook overview. So my Facebook overview standard report will now appear in my reports list. So you can see here, these are the things that Hootsuite puts in my Facebook overview. So you can see that we're looking at a one week from October the 16th to October the 22nd. We can see how many posts we've had, how many fans we've got, how many engagements and the traffic. I can, again, in the same way, I can export this as a PDF. So here's a Facebook example. You've got all the graphs and everything. This is my fans page. I can see how many fans I've got. I can see the type of engagement. I can see the reactions I've had, you know, likes and shares and comments. So I can see everything to do with my Facebook page there in one report. I can get exactly the same thing for Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, or I can have all that in one report. So again, you can see your messaging and your traffic. And again, you can see here, I've got a report on my posts reactions and comments and also if you've got videos i can see reports on my videos which might be saying these are my facebook videos but they might have linkedin videos for example so as you continue to add reports you can see when we started at the beginning we had you have no reports and you can see now we've got all these reports appearing and they're all going to be there on the left so every time i go into analytics I've got my reports there. I can share a report. So you can see this little person that's appeared by clicking on the plus and I just type in the email address of the person I want to send it to. So for example, if you do have to report to someone else on your social media progress, you might want to share a report with them so they can see it. If you want to add metrics, so customize for so if your Twitter overview, for example, doesn't have something you want to look at, like your comments or you want to remove something or else, I mean, you just click there on the plus. And here, as I said, you can schedule a report, just click on the calendar and I can say send a report 
out to these people once a week, once a month, every day if you want, 